we really can't get away from the fact that Windows is becoming more and more like Linux nowadays. Let's talk about some of the reasons this is. Well, the trend of incorporating Linux features and commands into Windows, I would believe reflects a strategy by Microsoft to try and embrace open source into their Windows builds. And a main driving factor for this, I would assume, is to remain relevant, especially in the server space where billions of dollars are being thrown around, especially with AI now, that requires many powerful hardware architectures and operating systems to efficiently run them. And what better way to get that type of development, at least for free, than from open source? So first off, we got developer appeal. Linux is already popular among developers, and that's because of its command line tools, scripting, and support for varying languages all through the command line, making it super easy to install and run programs and programming tools, all with a one-line command install with a package manager. This is particularly important for things like web development, cloud computing, where Linux just dominates. So I can definitely see why Windows wants to port things over, such as a sudo command to help people run elevated commands. With the rise of cross-platform compatibility, such as things with cloud computing, many web servers and just servers in general run on Linux. So cloud on Linux is important here because it dominates this sphere as well. Having compatibility on Windows allows developers to build and test, deploy applications across platforms more easily. So it reduces the friction of going between a dev platform to the cloud, which of course is important to Microsoft and Windows. And really the next thing that Microsoft introduced to Windows natively in Windows 10 was the WSL or the Windows subsystem for Linux, allowing users to run a full distro in the background through virtualization really was a clear indication that Windows was embracing and incorporating Linux into its system. I think they realized how much easier this makes it for developers, including managing permissions, executing commands, and keeping Linux directly on Windows prevents people from leaving Windows. And of course, embracing open source, at least that's what they call it, Microsoft has shifted towards trying to contribute to the Linux open source. Now, how much they've done without self-serving themselves can definitely be argued, but we can talk about the, how this approach has allowed Microsoft to contribute, but more take from open source. We're still not sure if this pseudo command is actually a port from the pseudo project, or if it's some piece together thing that, that Microsoft took and tried quote unquote making it its own. This is still unclear, but seems to be a tactic. Where programs and dev make sense for Windows, well, Windows takes, no matter what part of open source it is, which helps Microsoft leverage the innovation and rapid development cycles that are common across open source projects. They let a people do the bulk of the work, and then they can port things over for themselves where convenient. Anyways, this is, of course, a strategic business tactic, and probably the most important is how Windows directly benefits by making it more compatible with Linux, because this helps Microsoft serve a, a wider range of customers, especially when it comes to the enterprise and cloud domains, because they make a lot of money off of it. Think Microsoft Azure, the cloud platform that directly benefits by giving Windows compatibility with Linux. It helps Microsoft provide a cohesive and flexible ecosystem for these Linux ran cloud and hybrid environments. No company is trying to fall behind, especially when it comes to enterprise and production environments where all the money is made. That's why in summary, adopting Linux and Linux features, such as the pseudo elevated privileges command, Microsoft is trying to make Windows more versatile and dev friendly and production ready. As the entire industry moves towards open source software and cloud computing, Windows doesn't want to fall behind. Not only does this benefit its Windows users and developers, but it keeps Microsoft more flexible, especially when it comes to the rapid development cycle of the open source community, which they have to keep up with. And now making Windows like Linux makes more and more sense. I'm sure we'll be seeing more developments on this. I'll keep you posted. Make sure to subscribe below and like the video and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.